Hi. Okay, how to do uh, caution stripes or warning stripes material like this one. So we start out by making sure we have activated the node wrangler. So we press edit, preferences, go to add-ons, and we search for node wrangler and make sure it's checked. Okay, then we select and delete the cube, press shift A and create a new cube. And press tab, press number one to have the vertices, press control R, and make it something like this. Okay, then we go to the shading tab. Okay, we start out by giving the whole cube a material, so press new and add a gray material to the cube, something like this. Then we press tab, press alt and left click. So I have all of these faces. We press the plus sign and press new to add a new material. We press assign. We can name this stripes. Okay. Expand this area a bit. Then we need to add a color ramp. Shift A. A color ramp. We add it here. Take the color to the base color and we take the white color and make it yellow. Something like this. And we change this from linear to constant. And we drag it over here and we can change this value to be 0 0.5. Okay. Then we need a um, and we press shift A and we need a wave texture. Put here, take the color to the factor and we take this X because it doesn't look right yet. X and change this to diagonal like this. And then we select the wave texture and press control T and the node wrangler creates the mapping and the texture coordinates. We take the object to the vector and we need to make the stripes bigger, I think. So we change the scale to something like this. And we are almost done. But I want to have some dirt on here. So we press Shift A and search for a noise texture, add it here and uh, we can select this one and press control shift and left click just to see how it looks and it looks okay but I want to be able to <coughs> define the dirt more so we need to add a color ramp so I press shift A search for another color ramp and add it here and now if I move this black one, whoops, you can see I can make it more or less intense. But now I need to combine these materials. So we press Control Shift, select this one, select this one and move it over here. And to combine these two materials, we need to press Shift A and take a mix RGB. Put it here and we take the color from the noise texture node up to color 2 like this we it doesn't look like we want to so we need to change the mix value to a multiply like this and we can move this factor all the way up here and we can now see it's starting to become a bit dirty. But if I want to make it more intense, I just move the black slider like this. So it's done. And this is how you do it. Thanks for watching. Bye.